Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to be talking about the Llama in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, I actually come across a Llama in Fortnite Battle Royale, and I want to show you guys that and talk about exactly how you guys can get your hands on a Llama by finding a Loot Llama around the map. So, it's quite a simple process, and it's not as easy as you think, though, because Llamas are actually a random spawn rate. We don't know where they're going to spawn exactly, but I have some good predictions how you guys can get your hands on a Llama. So, in the footage you can see on screen right now, I actually get a Llama. And the reason I get a Llama is because I'm coming from the sec well it's the second storm the first storm is finished it's finished it's reached the point and then the second storm appears now if you're on the outer layer I believe llamas will spawn on the outer layer to give them runners that extra chance to get that extra loot now what exactly do llamas drop so in general, llamas just drop a bunch of resources and a bunch of useful items that can really come in handy depending on what sort of weapons you've got. Now, a llama itself isn't very good if you're just running a pistol and an SMG with no shields or anything. However, if you're fully shielded up, got some decent weapons, maybe even some explosive weapons, and didn't really get time to get many resources, the llama can really come in handy in that sense. I think these are an awesome addition to the game. They're going to be quite rare. You're not going to come across them very often. You might come across them once a day or something. So far, I've played about 10 games since the update or maybe a little bit more, and not actually come across any llamas yet. So that's a little unfortunate, but as you can see in this gameplay now, I'm looting around Anarchy Acres, and there's the llama. I see it, and I'm like, whoa, what is that pink thing over there, purpley pink thing? It's just sat on a fence. I'm like, what a weird spot. So I go over to llama, make sure no one's around. I go over to it, look how close I am onto the edge of the storm. Look where I've spawned, look where it is. It's, I've looked around everywhere, and I've seen a few, spoken to a few other people, and they're saying they're getting them on the edge of the storm, maybe running into the second storm, or right on the edge where the third storm's going to start so you can see where i got that nice little bit of llama and look at the loot i got let's just replay that again so i get absolutely tons of loot so let's have a little look at exactly what i get so it takes a while to open unfortunately but as i open it look at the amount of items i get here let's collect them let's read them 500 metal 660 bullets for the heavy and then loads of shotgun ammo again and loads of rocket ammo let's just replay that again i think i got 20 i think i got 500 of every resource and also 20 rockets 60 heavy ammo absolute tons so you have 20 rockets 500 of every resource a fruit a few traps 100 medium ammo 120 light bullets it's just a massive increase in your resources and also six shield potions uh mini shields so if you find this on squads it's very useful if you found an explosive weapon it's it all depends on what like game mode you found it on really squads it's not it is useful for the explosive weapons and stuff like that and maybe the resources if a squad member's running low or maybe even the shield potions or something but to be honest i think it's really awesome to see something like this being added into fortnite battle royale for the distance players now personally i'm one of them players that always keeps to the edge of the storm when i want to win if i'm trying to win a game and i really want to win that's probably how i'm going to win most likely if i desperately need a win and i would made a few videos on this in the past talking about that and talking about how i stick to the edge of the storm but i think these llamas are pretty interesting and i'm glad they've added them in so for the rest of this video i'm going to let you guys watch this awesome gameplay i've got running for you it's actually want to be one of the best i'm going to split it into two parts so in this video now if you're watching it uh, this is going to be part one of the gameplay and then the video that's out later today talking about all the detail about the the c4 explaining how much damage it does and stuff like that i'm going to play the rest of that gameplay in that video because they both use the c4 in so it's quite an interesting gameplay and i'll let you guys watch that so i'll let you guys watch the first like seven eight minutes of it if you want to watch it now and then the second part of it will be in the other one obviously i'm going to send people back to this video to watch the gameplay if they haven't seen this video but be ready for it and there'll be a little easter egg in there as well so see if you guys can find the little easter egg anyway hope you guys have enjoyed today's video I'm just testing a little bit of c4 on that i didn't really recognize the damage but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed once again leave a like comment subscribe and this is postbots pat signing out
found this easter egg comment down below 24 7 llama hope you guys have enjoyed the video stay tuned for the gameplay later on i'll see you guys later If you've wind this far to the end of the video, unfortunately you have missed the easter egg, it's somewhere else in the video. However, I just want to note to you guys, the other half of this gameplay will be in my video up in an hour's time. If you're watching this video maybe in the future, it's in the video after this which talks about C4s and stuff. I will have it on screen right now, so click on it, I'll see you there.